There are different types of light in our universe and they all fall under the electromagnetic spectrum, which is a classification of different types of electromagnetic radiation based on its wavelength. So let's take a look at this lovely list, starting off with radio waves. Radio waves are the least energetic of all forms of electromagnetic radiation since they have the longest wavelength and also they have the lowest frequency. Humans use radio waves for communication. Television, cell phone, and radios are all made possible thanks to radio waves. Then we have the lovely microwaves. Microwaves are the second level of the electromagnetic spectrum. Just like radio waves, microwaves can be used for communication and radar. And best of all, microwaves can cause water and fat molecules to vibrate, causing a substance to heat up which is why they are used to heat up the pizza you're probably eating while watching this. We can even use it to see remnants of the Big Bang, but that's for another video. Next up we have our lovely infrared light. What's special about infrared light is, while you can't see it, you can feel it. Also, infrared light is just like visible light because it can be focused and reflected. Infrared light is a type of light thermal cameras use since anything that contains thermal energy emits infrared light. Next up we have visible light, the most important and boring part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The special thing about visible light is that it's the only version of the electromagnetic spectrum which has a wavelength our eyes can detect, in contrast to the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum which have wavelengths too big or small for our eyes to see. But we already interact with the visible light spectrum in our everyday lives, so let's take a look at other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum such as ultraviolet light. You may recognize ultraviolet light as a type of electromagnetic radiation our sun emits. However, there is more to UV light than you think. Our bodies can make vitamin D and get a tan from the sun's UV radiation. Food and drug companies use UV light to sterilize their products, and hospitals use UV light to sterilize surgical equipment and the air, since UV light can kill microbes. UV lights can even be used to detect forged banknotes by exciting the molecules found in the polyester strip on the dollar bills, which are printed with invisible ink, causing the strips to glow. Now, if you think ultraviolet light is really cool, you should check out x-rays. Now, you may think of x-rays as the stuff doctors use to see our bones, and you'd be right, but there is more to x-rays than you think. The reason why x-rays are so popular is because of their ability to penetrate objects. This is why x-rays can be used for a wide variety of applications, from medical use to airport security. Unfortunately, x-rays are very dangerous to humans. As you can see, x-rays are ionizing radiation, which are high energy forms of radiation that are powerful enough to rip the electrons from our atoms. This can cause mutations in our DNA which can lead to diseases like cancer. However, x-rays do have a weakness, lead. Lead is extremely dense, so dense x-rays can't penetrate through it. For this reason, lead and other extremely dense substances can be used to shield humans from harmful x-ray exposure. Last but not least, we have the powerful gamma rays. Gamma rays have the smallest wavelength in the entire electromagnetic spectrum, making them the most energetic form of electromagnetic radiation. Gamma rays are produced in hot and violent events like supernovas or the destruction of atoms. However, celestial bodies like neutron stars, pulsars, and black holes are also a source of gamma rays. In addition, gamma rays, just like x-rays, can harm cells and even go as far as to kill them. However, the medical field uses this to their advantage by using gamma rays to kill cancer cells. And there we have it, the electromagnetic spectrum in a nutshell.